<laughs> These things here are the single most prevalent pieces of rubbish or trash we have in our world. Half an hour, 40 minutes. I'm uh, Enoch or Enoch. Uh, I'm studying urban governance here at Erasmus with ESSB and IHS. I'm 26 years old. I'm now in my thesis territory, have to write it, so spending a lot of time in the library. And um, I felt like I need to do something. And I mean, as soon as I step out, actually, you can see this everywhere. So I was like, yeah, let's just start and collect it. At one point, I was even happy that they are mostly orange, right? Because at least you see them like that. <laughs> it's easier to spot them. Because there is an interesting tension here, isn't it? On a campus, we think so much about many issues and thoughts and perspectives. And then there is stuff right in front of our face. And we, we sometimes hesitate to do something. And I mean, it's a very simple thing, right? Imagine just 20 students getting together, making a little either competition around it or everyone listens silent disco like to music. And in one hour you have 20 of these bags somewhere. Yeah, just a nice activity, easy to do and win, win, win. Sometimes I imagine this being strawberries, you know. I don't feel that I, I don't know if I feel that I have to do this. But given that I think it's more and more important for, for us young people to think how, where is our efficacy, right? Is what we're doing meaningful? And I mean, this is obviously a very simplistic thing to do, but it does have an effect. And so I like just to mix these things together because I personally was often caught in these two extremes of, you know, yeah, but the most effective thing to do is maybe very abstract solutions and policy and blah, blah, blah. And then on the other hand, the opposite, so-called of it, is direct action. And you know, you could either do one or the other, but in fact, they are not opposites. You know, you can just mix them together through your day. And at least as far as I can tell also for me, uh, writing the thesis or the text, they really fructify each other. All right, so um, call to action, I guess, no big deal, uh, but I will be doing this again next Friday uh, around noon, let's say at uh, 12.30. I'll start off in front of Polak with uh, a plastic bag and something that serves as a glove. And um, yeah, whoever feels like joining me for half an hour, for an hour, for whatever, putting some music on, listening to silent disco and yielding this here, uh, come with me. I'm looking forward to you.